I thought it was more than four All Stars. This is the this is your fourth one. Mm -hmm. Can't keep count, right? It's pretty <laughs> awesome to have that uh, that much representation here. So we're gonna have fun. All right, so there's four of you. I tried to get it out of Kerr. Who do you think that fifth one's gonna be when you all are on the floor together? I'm sure to rotate, but uh, <laughs> I know there's a lot of talk about uh, about Katie and Russ and all that this mm -hmm. this this, this uh, weekend. But um, we're all big boys and understand we're here to celebrate the game of basketball and everybody's accomplishments. So we'll have fun. You know, I thought la last week I had the feeling going into that game that that was going to be a game where everybody really tried to have Katie's back because they knew how much it was going to be, what the emotional pull was going to be on him. And it seemed like you guys really played like that. And I wondered if that was indeed the case. Well, for sure. I mean, uh, there's a lot of buildup, obviously. And you understand this is first time going back. And for us, that atmosphere was second second nature because mm -hmm. we uh, we just played in the Western Conference Finals right, there. Right, and right. we're on the other side of booze and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and all that. So um, knew how much it meant for him to obviously get a win um, and he played well and it was um, it was just a, a big night for for everybody involved so um, you know we got to have each other's back no matter what the situation is and for us to get to where we want to go I know you guys get everybody's best shot it's always Oscars night when <laughs> once teams play you but is it good to have you know two three four games like that in the year that really are big games yeah because you want to understand how you're going to deal with the emotions uh, not just the atmosphere and um, a team playing well, but there's there's adrenaline rushes. There's yeah. um, dealing with you know media questions leading sure. up to games. You know how you what, what's your mentality going into those games? That's what the playoffs is about. Mm -hmm. um, and we as as a same identity, but a new team, new sure. roster. We need to go through those for sure. Um, and speaking, I mean, it's been a, a season, but the adjustment has been you know pretty smooth. It seems like to me. What what do you think? allowed that to happen so kind of seamlessly there's a certain philosophy that you kind of have to adapt to but at the end of the day it's just you know the, the game you've been playing forever yeah the pass cut set screens move the ball look for you know a great shot on um, every possession and when you have the talent that we do things click mm -hmm. um the, the thing for us was just figuring out how everybody needs to be aggressive at the same time and they won't take away from each other. We all get our shine. We all understand. We all going to help us yeah. get wins, and, and that was big. It's one of the stats is not, to me, that was interesting with you. It's not so much that the points are down, but the usage rate is down, too, and I wonder if that allows you to do other things if the usage rate is down. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of opportunities to – be a screener, uh, yeah. be a, a decoy, and you mm -hmm. you're drawing attention, uh, get other guys' shots. But um, I still, obviously, you know, live for the moments you have the ball in your hand, sure. and you want to make those plays. And on a nightly basis, being ready, no matter what what time the score is in the game, I know I have an impact. One of the on your squad that I think the most interesting development has been Javale starting at center and how that has he seems like he's really kind of just fit in and he's such a different player than Bogut was at that position. Yeah, um, he's obviously a freak athlete, but he he demands so much attention in the paint. Yeah, um, and he's. He's really great at, at getting, you know, downhill, allowing you know, us to put pressure on the rim so we can you know, throw those oops to him, or he'll draw a couple of defenders, and you got uh, shooters all around him. So yeah. he's fit in well. Um, he's obviously different than, you know, Zaza and D West. And that, you know, he's filled in great for them while they've been hurt. But he has another dimension to us on both ends of the floor, right. um, and allows us to play a lot faster. Steph, you had an interesting week, you know, last week. Uh, all the Under Armour talk, and I just wonder if you've had a chance to talk uh, with Kevin in the subsequent days, and if you know how things are feeling going forward. Uh, yeah, it was a, obviously a, uh, a tough, tough week. Just understanding exactly what was said, and, yeah. and um, you know, making sure everybody's voice was heard when it comes to how we feel and, and what we believe. And um, I think you know myself, uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, Misty Copeland, guys that. Uh, and gals that are you know, represented by or uh, through a relationship with Under Armour uh, did a great job of just using our voice and, and speaking our mind. Mm -hmm. And we know deep down who Kevin Plank is as a, as a human being, and I, I have full confidence in him as a leader of the company.
company, but one that I know his heart and I know what he stands for and uh, what the company stands for as well. So um, this is hopefully a, a be a, an opportunity for us to, as a, as a group, create a lot of change with you know the spotlight that's on us now. A teachable moment. Very much so. Uh, we're way past the halfway point, so in these last 25 games or so of the regular season, what uh, needs to be tightened up as you get ready for the playoffs? Um, for us, we continue to focus on the defensive end, um, playing at a high level, rebounding the basketball for us. The certain right. lines we throw out there will be huge, but this is a great opportunity for us as a team to have a different lead into the playoffs than we did last year. We were chasing wins last year. Right. And it really didn't matter how we played. It was just, could we get the win? Mm -hmm. Chasing that record. This year, you know, it's, it's more than just talk. We want to really understand how we're playing. And you can, it's, there's the eye test, there's whatever you, we know when we won't step off the floor if we played our game. Mm -hmm. Whether we win or lose, it's all about getting better leading up to the playoffs. And there can be more of a pure focus on that yeah. going into the playoffs and, and trying to win a championship. I got one more question for you. I know there's a million games that have to be played between now and the start of the playoffs and the playoffs and the finals. But do you keep an eye on what Cleveland's doing? Just, just, in, just in passing on a daily basis? I mean, I'm a basketball junkie, so I could tell you pretty much what's going on around mm -hmm. the league, <laughs> no matter what team it is. As mm -hmm. obvious, you know, Cleveland, San Antonio, Washington, yeah. Boston. Uh, the Clippers, Houston, whoever it is on either side at the top of, the, of these conferences. But um, you don't want to get ahead of yourself. We have a job to do to get where we want to go. Mm -hmm. Whoever comes out of the East, you know, we've got to be ready. But there's so much talent in this Western <laughs> Conference that yeah. nothing's guaranteed for us, and we have to uh, worry about you know, being at our best. Well, enjoy the weekend, my friend, and we'll see you it. down the road. Thank Thanks. you very much, D.A. I appreciate it. All right.